Hey guys, so we have um, had a busy morning and uh, we are home for lunch now, but we went to go do uh, tour a school uh, for Max to start next fall. So hopefully we can find a school that's good for him. We really like this school. They do a lot of outdoorsy stuff and it's really, really cool. Um, but we're still looking at other options that's around, around our town. So we are home now. I'm going to show you guys our lunch. We're kind of just doing a fin for ourselves lunch, but of course Linda had to go all fancy for herself. Well, so, I mean, when Ty's sleeping, it's one less lunch. Oh yeah, Ty's taking a nap right now. So <laughs> Linda made herself, uh, she cooked up some kale with um, coconut oil. It's bacon grease. Bacon, there's bacon grease in there? Yeah, I used the bacon grease. She used the bacon, bacon <laughs> grease uh, for the kale. <laughs> and she has some, uh, some keto style coconut bread that she made the other day. Um, that's in another vlog uh, with some goat cheese on top. Uh, she grilled all that up and it looks, I don't know, like you should be at a five star restaurant. And then there's my plate. <laughs> so I have some of that same bread. I know I'm eating like a toddler today. Um, some of that same bread uh, with some cheese. I have some mozzarella underneath with um, ham slices and some, what kind of muffins are these? They're really good for They're flax, flax muffins. Flax muffins. Um, with some butter and uh, honey on top. So, nice. Now my lunch is complete. <laughs> it's all over your body. Tendons. Tendons, yeah. Biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps. These are your biceps. These are your triceps. Muscles can only fit, so they work in a pairs. Let's go and turn them to a whoopee skeleton. Yeah. In your arm, the biceps pull by contracting to bend the arm, and the triceps pull to strengthen, to straighten it. Yep, so you have your bicep right here, and your tricep is under here. Mama, if you lose all your skin, you could, you, you could see all your Bones. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you see all Mama's muscles, right? Mm -hmm. And all my muscles. Yep. And all of Belle's muscles, too. Oh, Belle does have muscles. Wait, does Belle have a skin, too? She does. The thing about dogs is that she has fur on top of her skin, just like you have hair right here. Well, she has that all over her body. And so if you look underneath, you can see her skin. See that? That's her skin. But where's her, but what's inside her nose? Well, what's inside your nose? No, that one was inside Belle's nose. Probably hers. Yeah, that one. Hey, I am at work. Um, just doing some recordings for some students. We have a recital coming up, and so I'm just trying to make sure that they know what they need to do and also it's good practice because I usually play with my students it's a lot of fun um, and yeah so I've been recording for them and prepping other stuff um, but I want to show you guys my big windows <laughs> it's super fun I get a lot of light in here um, so my old studio room I haven't had windows in a studio room in like 10 years <laughs> Over. Actually, I don't think I've ever taught in a studio where I had a window, except for one, there's one location that I taught in in Knoxville that had a big window, um, and it was nice, but we eventually closed that location down. It's a long story, but, um, so anyway, it's nice to have big windows and a big open room and lots of space to have classes and teach and all wonderful things. So, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit about my view, um, so I can tell when, when rain is coming. So that's really great. Hey, so I'm on my way home and thought I'd show you guys the uh, carousel slash Christmas tree that they've put up downtown. Um, super cool. It is only like six o'clock and it's super dark. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like and it's big. <laughs> there it is. And there's the carousel sign. So it's pretty cool. Have all this. So yeah, I get to walk by that twice a day. Sometimes three. Alright. Go ahead. Yep. 
That's it, number six. Oh, it's upside down. Oops, let's try again. There you go. Yes, high five. What, that it's a no look high five? Yes. <laughs> what do you think, think it looks pretty good? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it looks pretty good. Oh, we're gonna put the star on now? All right. <laughs> so I should have explained this when we were first doing this advent tree and that you're supposed to count down, start at 24 and go up, but um, it's really confusing, especially if you miss a day. <laughs> and then I'm always like, I don't know. So um, plus it teaches Max how to count in the right order, right? Yeah, right? Following the calendar. Mom, what do you want this map? Is that which one is it? Can you show me which one it is? Ooh. Well, maybe you can use that one tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get to put one on the seven. Then it will be time to go to my cousin's house. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Your cousin's birthday party is this weekend, right? Super fun. Oh, what does this one say? It says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It says, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> to everyone. Everyone who celebrates Christmas. So we wanted to show you guys um, our process for wool. We have Ty wearing wool pants. Yes. It's coming. Okay. Uh, we have Ty wearing wool pants. Um, <laughs> Because it absorbs everything. The bathroom place is too small for all of us to fit so, in here. So Linda wanted to share with you what we, how you treat wool and how you reanalyze it when you have to wash it. Yeah. Well, right so, now we've already washed them. Max washed them, didn't you, yes. bud? Yes. You washed them. What'd you do to wash these? Did you use the cranker? Uh huh. Can you show us where that is and what it looks like? What's Wait. the cranker? Yeah. Yep. The Wonder Wash. I think we've used this in the vlog before. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you, bud. Thanks for showing us. You washed all these pants that are for your brother, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so I'm trying not to stretch them out too much. They've already been lanolized, and I use little scent cubes that a friend of mine gave me, and I have done that so they smell nice and they're water resistant. And now I'm trying to get most of the water out without like stretching them or wringing them, so that they're kind of water resistant. And this is just how you care for the, for the wool pants when you're cloth diapering and using wool covers but we're not cloth diapering anymore however ty sometimes leaks through his diapers and so i still feel like it's like beneficial to have um <laughs> i feel like it's beneficial to have the um like water resistant layer you guys you guys no you guys mom no you guys max you guys you guys you guys. You guys. You guys. Linda, would you like to tell them about this pizza? Sure. It's cauliflower crust pizza. Um, it's made with regular cheese, though. So I'm kind of breaking that rule because that's the only cheese we had in the house. Yes. Half prosciutto, half ham, and um, yeah. So if you guys want to learn how to make this cauliflower crust, because I've been testing recipes. This is a different recipe than the one I made before. I may combine some recipes because this one got a little extra crispy. Uh, so if you guys want to know how I make cauliflower crust and what has turned out really well for us, comment below in the comment section here on the YouTube video. Not on social media because I share it lots of places and I may not see your comments, but I will get a notification if you comment below this YouTube video. Um, if you comment below down there and let me know if you want the recipe for how to make this cauliflower crust because it's really awesome. Next time I'm going to try making two of them and freezing one for like emergency pizza night because everybody has emergency pizza. <laughs> Everyone needs emergency so, pizza. Yeah. Comment below if you want to learn how to make it. We're going to dig in. Yes. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night and we are attempting what might end up being a parenting fail. We have decided to have, since we're having pizza and a movie night, it's only five minutes till bedtime, but we're still going to follow through on the movie. What movie are we watching, Max? Mickey Mouse after before Christmas. Yeah, Mickey Mouse Christmas. So we are going to start our movie, and I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys good night, that we will talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget to feed yourselves well. Leave us a comment about that pizza crust down below. And give us the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with all of your friends. But thumbs down. No, thumbs up.
<laughs> thumbs up is what we want. Um, thumbs that's what I want. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Give Say a thumbs up. Bye. Bye.